Okay, folks, so got them tagged up here and on a nice, nice little log. Uh, this hunt was unbelievable. I mean, I, I roosted this bird last night and I could, I thought he might be alone. Um, just tell, he was gobbling like crazy last night, just like he was this morning. And uh, when I got set up, I realized I didn't have a face net. I'm like, oh crap, you know, this. This is working my advantage already, or his advantage already. And uh, I've hunted turkeys up here before, and I've never had any luck. Uh, me and my buddies have always chased them up here, and they just always seem to outsmart us here in these pines. And uh, so I got set up. I could tell he was hot. I didn't really call to him too much, as you can see in the video. A few, a few clucks. Uh, I think I yelped maybe two times. And, he strutted back and forth on the ridge for a little bit, and um, he decided he was coming. And when he came down over the hill, uh, I could I could see him. And I'm like, okay, there he is. And he saw my decoys, and he kind of hung up. And in those pines, it's really hard to get a clear shot just because of all the branches that come out of the bottom of the pine tree. So. Uh, I had one shot opportunity right when I first saw him and then he turned and he got behind a pine tree and I was like, oh crap, and he started strutting back up the hill. And I'll be honest with you guys, filming turkeys by yourself is hard. I know he's in the camera frame, but whether like from the camera's perspective and then where I was, I only had a little window when I shot. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be great video, it was awfully dark in those pines and I think I shot him at 6.15. But in those pine trees, it's just, it, you know, it stays dark a lot longer in there. And I think that helped me when it came to not having a face net. But, uh, yeah, I hope the video turned out good. I know he'll be in frame at one point. Um, but as soon as he turned and he started strutting back up the hill, I knew he was only 30 yards at that moment. And 30, 35. And that gun has been shooting great for me all year. And I decided the next shot opportunity I get at him, I'm going to take it. And he was kind of in semi strut, uh, so I blew up his one side of his wing here pretty good, but I hit the head really well too. So, uh, awesome turkey hunt. It's a little bittersweet for me. This is my family's old uh, home farm, and uh, we actually it just got sold off, and the owners were grateful enough to still let me come back up here and turkey hunt. So, really thankful for that. That's a wrap for my PA season. Uh, it would be what's today? Tuesday. And uh, yeah, so I, oh, and then luckily I got called off of work today, so I didn't have to go in. Boss said, go ahead and hunt, go get your second bird. So thank you, Rick, for that. And uh, a quick morning. Hopefully you can hear me. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Just heard a bird over the hill here, so I might text a few buddies, see if they, if they're out, maybe we can go after it. But uh, yeah, that's a wrap to my PA season. So hopefully I can film a few buddies, get a few birds, and uh, stay tuned. It was an awesome year. I've had one of the best years of my life. Uh, I got my bird in Virginia, and then opening day I got a long bird here in Pennsylvania, and third day of the season I got my second bird. So thank you, Lord, and uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.